we're back at Mugello. These are the sights and sounds from earlier in the year from Charlotte and of course Japan. However, this is the new Formula One style team in the shape of the Medanus KR3 Marlboro sponsor machine that of course started by King Kenny Roberts himself. All sorts of secrecy surrounding the machine and well, a bit of mystique doesn't go amiss at all. Developed with Todd Walk and Shaw Racing, they, of course, are running Damon Hill in Formula One and they've won Le Mans a couple of times. Together with running Volvos and British Touring Car, they've certainly got the experience. First venture, though, for a two-stroke engine and, of course, a 500cc motorbike. We grabbed some words with Jean-Michel Bale, who's, of course, the lead runner. Um, he made it. They of course were knights, uh, provisional pole, pole, provisional knights on the grid Donc, after Friday afternoon session. He says he's made it. He's had so many problems with riding with only one bike till now, but everything has worked well and this is encouraging for him. He says it's been easier to work today, Saturday, with two bikes. So he thinks he'll be able to improve. The most important thing will be to stay in the top 10 for today's session. And he thinks that he's been a good result after the Friday session, especially with regards to the long straight where the Honda V4s are just so powerful. They're topping out at around 194, 195 miles an hour. And Dana's KR3 is losing on the top speed, however, because it's a lighter machine, it's quicker around the wiggity bits. Yeah, we're very happy with that. Uh, obviously, uh, every step forward is a, is a big leap for us. We look better here uh, than we had anticipated, but we're still a little bit behind on what I consider we should be. And the engine? A little bit behind. It's uh, it's been a little bit tougher than we first uh, imagined, and uh, we we just need a little bit more time, and we need a test machine, and we need to start doing some things that are going to get us more performance. They're going to go for the uh, complete test team, similar to what Formula One teams have, so they can have new parts and new bits at every Grand Prix. They, and that will hopefully be up and running in the next week or so. Jean-Michel Bale, though, he says that to get to the podium, they're obviously going to need more power, working on the bike's weight as well, and other technical problems that are only teething problems. There's still a lot of work to do, but the team will be able to build a competitive machine in the next few races. Roberts, uh, this year you build a bike. It's uh, the challenge. What's incredible, and uh, I think it's going very good for the Bowman. What's your point of view? Well, there's no question that it's getting better, and uh, you know it, it was a, a whole lot to do. It was a very very short time, and I'm very proud of a lot of it, and uh, disappointed with some of it, and. Uh, I think that we've all learned uh, in the team and, and the people responsible for the project have learned an awful lot. And we know a lot more about what uh, we all talked about six months ago than we know now. And it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's uh, getting better every race and that's the important part of it. I think per piece for piece, uh, it's probably as good as any manufactured motorcycle on the racetrack. I think for the first year out, that's pretty, pretty remarkable. What's your hard problem you have to fix every time when you build a bike? Well, the problem is time is the biggest problem. Uh, you know, you've got factories like Honda that's, that comes out here with a, th uh, two, a twin cylinder and people were amazed on how good it was, but that's a five-year-old motorcycle. You know, this motorcycle is uh, six months old and uh, the first race, uh, the first time we ever had more than two of them running was the first Grand Prix. And we've been doing uh, development work at each Grand Prix in front of the world. And I know that a lot of teams laughed about how slow the thing was or at times or how uncompetitive it was. But uh, to develop uh, a brand new machine in front of the world every week is, uh, if someone can do better, good. I'm, I would uh, respect that a lot.